So this weekend, I mean, I think we had it circled on our calendar for a couple reasons. One, it's our first home contests. Um, and two, always playing against Grand Valley and Ferris. It's big just in general in our athletic department, but uh, for tennis, they've always been um, teams that we haven't quite gotten there in terms of the, the win yet, and we've been competitive. The Grand Valley matches specifically, I thought, we've never played them as tough as we did, and that was my challenge to our team is win or lose, they've got to see our best tennis first, and I feel like they, we came as close as we ever have to really showing them that. We pulled out a really tight 9-8 doubles victory at two doubles that showed us we're right there. Uh, in singles, every court, we had close scores. I mean, it was not, you know, no, no uh, overwhelming victories. So I think that I was happy with that. The spots where we won, we really played tough. I was extremely happy with how they stepped up. Um, moving into the Ferris match, I thought that helped us going in. And, and we know that Ferris, we've played them the last three times prior to this match was a 5-4 loss. And so, 5-4 in tennis sounds like it could be the same every time, but really each match got closer. Every time we played them, the matches were closer. It came down to a closer match at the end. Uh, we thought that we had gotten a, as close of a match as we could get the last time we played them in the GLIAC tournament, but we found out that no, we did, we did lose even closer this time, just by a two-point margin. However, I can't be, uh, as a coach, more proud of the effort, and we um, we put it all on the line. We had three set matches. We had um, courts where girls like came from behind and came back to win. We had just really great efforts overall. Um, you love to see our team feel like, you know, we felt like we deserved to win. You don't always get that in, in sports. And so it's a valuable lesson to us. One thing I know is our team is extremely resilient and will come back and, and hungrier and ready uh, the next little match. Well, we have a pretty rough weekend. Uh, we face it through the best teams in the conference, Grand Valley and Ferris, uh, two of the teams that usually are on top of the conference. Uh, Grand Valley is a really good team overall. Uh, they have really good players in all positions. So we were able to take one doubles match, uh, the number the number two. Uh, we were close in the other ones, but I feel like Grand Valley uh, had really good matches there. So uh, when we went to singles, we I think it was the first time that we played against Grand Valley like with positivity and I think we had pretty good feelings about it. Uh, we had really close matches, uh, but we we were able only to take two of them. But I think overall it was a pretty good performance against a really good team. Uh, the first match on Sunday, uh, was I think it was a really good performance of the team. Uh, I think we played great in doubles. Uh, we had a really, go a really good feeling about it. Uh, we were I feel on top of our performances and it was pretty good. I mean, we took one of the doubles and we went to singles thinking about getting the points, getting the matches there. Um, it was a great battle. Uh, we had great battles there. Um, and the last point, I was able to be on court, the last one. Uh, it was a more than two hour match. Um, and well, uh, at the end, the opponent took the match in the last two points. And, but well, that's how tennis it is. I mean, sometimes it's great, the adrenaline until the end, and sometimes it's cruel, but it was a pretty good weekend after all, and I think it was nice. I think that being involved in one of those matches is like the dream of every tennis player that we hear. That's why we play this sport. Uh, the adrenaline to be on court, like every moment during more than two hours, uh, you don't know what's really gonna happen. And I think we're really lucky to have all the people supporting us in SVSU. We have a really good spirit. Uh, for all those two hours, everybody was here supporting us, cheering for us. And at the end, I mean, the first day you're sad about the match, but the next day you think about all that crowd supporting you and the feeling that we had. So I think it helps for the next matches to be ready for them. So the ITA regionals coming up, um, the winner of the, they, they divide it into A and B draws. Uh, the A draw is where players who win those draws have the opportunity to move on to the national tournament and play against the other regional winners. Um, and so that's something our program hasn't had. We haven't made it that far. Um, we've had some pretty good runs in the past uh, recent years. Uh, having two players in the quarterfinals last year, uh, that's pretty exciting for us. However, this year I think we're looking to just continue to improve that. And we've got uh, four players who've made it into the A draw for singles. We've got two double teams who'll be in the A draw. Um, and, and, and the B draw is still extremely good competition. It's X 
excellent practice for our girls and staying tournament tough, staying dual match ready for the following weekend, it gives us a chance to work on some things too. And so we don't have the pressure of the team score. We can go out and just try to really hone some of the things that um, we need to work on.